Hello again, students. Let's do the blocked, rocked stock market, whatever that means. These names are getting out of control. Um, given the following box and whisker plot, provide the following details. Minimum Q1, median Q3, max IQ range, and range. So remember the IQ range, some of these you have to calculate. This would be Q3 minus Q1. And then the range is max minus min. I'm running right into my box plot, so I better write that on the side. So, All right, so the minimum value is this one right here. So the smallest whisker on the left, that's the minimum. The largest whisker, end of the whisker, I should say, that's the max. Q1 is the bottom edge of the box, part of the box plot. Q3 is the top edge to the right. I'm saying top, so I'm going left to right, so I think top. Uh, Q3 is the right edge of the box, and then the median is this dude right here. The line, there should be some type of line or uh, another marker that's on the inside of the box. It's, it does, it's not gonna be symmetric, it's not gonna be perfectly in the middle of the box because your data might be spread out differently. So the median is a bit more to the right, so that means we kinda have some top heavy data, but anyway, that's a whole other discussion. Um, let's see here, minimum, looks like it's gonna point down to four. Okay, so it's, they should land on relatively, um, let, me get a, let me get an arrow in here so we can, we can do some stuff. Where's, where's like the big arrows? Are there like big arrows? Yeah, here we go. So let's get some arrows in here and then we're gonna rotate it so that it makes a little bit more sense. And we don't need it to be so big. Here we go, okay. So here we go, the minimum, as you can see, points right to four. Let's, let's have a little bit more fun with this. Let's make this like a bright color. Salmon, that's like a salmon color. How about make like, a, is it like a neon green or something we can make this? Yeah, there we go, let's have some fun with this. Oh yeah, let's get wacky. There we go, all right, cool. Um, we don't need it to be so long. There we go. All right, so the minimum points to four. All right, cool. Let's write that down. Draw a four. Minimum, easy to do. Okay, now let's move this over to Q1. Q1, where are you pointing at? Um, it looks like you're landing right in between 10 and 11, so 10, 11, 10 and 12, so I think that's going to be 11 for Q1. Okay, it's kind of nice. I need to switch back and forth. I'm just going to actually, I'm going to make all of these first because I can't switch. It's not fun to switch back and forth between the pen and then the editor. So we're going to land you. We're going to land you right there. Copy, paste. One more, the max. There we go. Okay, that's going to be a little bit easier. All right, now we can go back to the pen. Now we can do stuff. All right, so like I said, minimum was 4. Q1 was 11. All right, median looks like it lands between 18 and 20, so I'm guessing that's 19. You might need to use a little spatial reasoning, students. It may not always bullseye a direct number. It may be between several numbers, so make sure you count the tick marks. Um, another example, like if the tick marks were like 30 and 36 and it pointed to the middle, hopefully you could figure out that's 33. I know you can. You're smart. Um, Otherwise, I think that's it. We have all four. We have all five. These are the big five. Okay, we have them all. So median's nineteen, Q three is twenty four, and the max is thirty two. All right. So now we got to do some calculations. So some measurements here. We got to measure the range, the IQ range. The IQ range again is basically how wide is the box mathematically in terms of numbers. Well, it's eleven to twenty four. So if we do twenty four. Um, uh, where should I write it here? Q3. You know what I'm doing here. I'm doing 24 minus 11. Okay, that's the diff. That's the distance of the box. The distance of the box is 13 units. Okay, cool. And then the range. The range goes all the way from the min all the way to the maximum. So 32 minus 4 is going to be a range of 28. All right, so there we go. We have all of these things measured here. Um, so the, the first five actually point to a location, and then you have to use those locations to find the IQ range and the range. And that's about it. Um, take your time. They should line up. If you have like a straight edge or a ruler, um, they, may, they should all point at a whole number. I think the graphs I made, I made them all point at a whole number, so you don't need to you know strain yourself or work too hard. They shouldn't point at terrible decimals. So um, that's about it. That's the blocked, rocked stock market. Good luck identifying all of the spots, parts, pieces of a box plot, students. See you in class.